Hi, this is Chemistry Apostle. Welcome to second part of Redox Titration. In this video, I'll be teaching us some likely questions that will come out in this year WAEC chemistry examination with their solution. Then, if you want to have an excellent grade in chemistry, make sure you watch this video till the end. Please note that these questions are just speculated and patterned after past WAEC chemistry practical on redox titration. No student should cram it because they are just speculated and patterned after WAEC past chemistry question on redox titration. Question A is solution A contains 6.0 gram of impure iodine aqueous in potassium iodide, and the solution is made up to one dm cube. That's our solution A. Then B is solution containing 12.41 gram of sodium thiosulfate in 500 cm cube. This solution B is our thiosulfate. And it is not a standard mass. The mass given 12.41 gram in 500 cm cube. So we are going to convert that mass to mass con. Put B into the burette, and that means B is representing our acid now. And we are preparing table of value for B because B is put into the burette. Use starch indicator. And note, we are to add 2 to 3 drops of starch, starch solution when the mixture turns to yellow. Continue the titration and the, the mixture turns blue, black, and then colorless. That is the color at the end point. We are, we are going to use 32.0 cm cube as our VB. At the end of the video, I'm going to show us the table of value. The question now. Calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. Remember, we have to calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube and our B is sodium to sulfate. Concentration of A, concentration of iodine in A in mole per dm cube. And concentration of iodine, iodine is our pipette, now the one we are going to pipette. The percentage by mass of iodine in the sample or the percentage purity of iodine and you know we dissolve iodine in potassium iodide. Give reason why the starch indicator was not added to the titration mixture at the beginning of the titration. The values are given the atomic mass of iodine, sodium, sulfur and oxygen 127, 23, 32, 16 respectively and our VA is 25.0 cm cube. Remember, concord B in mole per dm cube, we can use two formula. It's either we use savanna or we use molarity. So in this case, we are using molarity because we can know our mass conk and then we know our molar mass. Therefore, we say molarity of B in the question. Molarity of B is equal to mass conk over molar mass. The mass conch of given was given. The mass conch of B that was given was in 500 cm cube. Because of that, we are going to do a unit conversion. One dm cube represents 1,000 centimeter cube. Therefore, when you say 12.41 gram, gram is equal to 500 cm cube. 1,000 centimeter cube will give you how many gram? That's how we convert from gram in 500 cm cube to mass in 1000 centimeter cube so you make x the subject of the formula and that is 12.41 multiplied by 1000 divided by 500 when you when you do this calculation correctly when you do this calculation correctly you are going to earn yourself one mark therefore mass conc 
of B, which is uh, sodium thiosulfate, is equal to twenty-four point twenty-four point eight two gram, twenty-four point eight two gram per dm cube. Note, correct unit is very very important. If you use wrong unit, you will not get the score for that mass con. If wrong unit is used instead of gram per dm cube, if you put gram per mole, it will not score. The molar mass of sodium thiosulfate is given. Molar mass of sodium thiosulfate is given by the equation, and then when you add it correctly, you are going to have 158 gram per mole. If you do that calculation also correctly, you earn yourself one mark. Therefore, the conch of B in mole per dm cube, according to the formula, mass conch over molar mass, you are going to have 0.157 mole per dm cube. If you do that correctly, I swear, you earn yourself one man and you must make sure you use correct unit. If you, look, if you use wrong unit, it will not be scored. If you use wrong unit, it will not be scored. So, question number two. The conk of iodine, which, is, which represents our A, in mole per dm cube. Note that the, ma the pure mass of conk of A was not given. The pure mass conk of A was not given in the question. So we are going to use savanna because uh, we can't use molarity just because we are not given the pure mass. Therefore, substituting the, the value into the formula, we are going to have 0.157 0 multiplied by 32, which is our volume of uh, thiosulfate divided by concentration of iodine multiplied by 25, which is the volume of our iodine. When you do the correct substitution, you earn yourself one mark. Then, uh, correct substitution of the mole ratio, you earn yourself one mark, making two marks there. Then, correct formula and change your subject formula, how you one mark. Therefore, conch of B of iodine. A mole per dm cube is got to 0 0.101 in three significant figure. If those units are not in three significant figure, it will not be scored. So the next question, percentage by mass of iodine. We are using the formula percentage purity is equal to mass of pure over mass of impure multiplied by 100. And mass of impure was not given in the question. The mass of pure iodine was not given in the question. We were only given the mass of pure. So therefore, we are going to firstly calculate the mass of pure iodine by using the formula mass conk of B is equal to by using the formula concentration of B mole per dm cube is equal to mass conk of pure iodine divided by molar mass of iodine. Mass conk of pure iodine is now equal to conk of B multiplied by molar mass. That is when we do correct substitution. I mean correct change of subject formula. Correct change of subject formula, we are going to have conk of B multiplied by molar mass. And since iodine is diatomic molecule, and the atomic mass is 127, we multiply it by 2 to get to around 54. Correct substitution in there, you are going to have 98.8% and it's one you want mark. Now, for the last question, that why don't we add starch at the beginning of the uh, reaction, at the beginning of the titration? We do not have starch, uh, we do not have starch at the beginning just because to avoid complex ion formation. And secondly, in order to obtain accurate result, in order to obtain accurate result, and also to avoid complex ion formation. Like I have promised earlier, this is the table of value. We are using second and third titers. Second and third 
titans. And why are we using this? It's because of concordance value. What are concordance value? Concordance value are value in which titans are not more than plus or minus 0.2 cm cube. And note, whatever value you are using must be in agreement with the value your teacher is also using. If you do your table very well without illustration, you can check other videos in the channel where, where I talk about how to draw a table of value during titration. So if this table, if you draw it correctly like the way you have seen it on the screen, you have 8 marks for that table alone. 8 marks for that table alone. And if you do the average very well, that is you make use of concordance value, it will hand you one mark. Then the, uh, the correct averaging, we also have you one more.